So what I'm going to do this week is a little bit different. It's definitely not the video I expected to be doing with the December live stream and you know the information we got, but I'm going to round that live stream up, but I'm going to do a bit more, something a bit different than my normal coverage of the live streams. But without rambling on anymore, I'll just jump right into the video now and get amongst it all. So this month's live stream wasn't what every and expected. It definitely wasn't the massive boom and hype load that everyone thought, you know, all these alpha two and character creator and and all the shit that was going to happen that was going to blow up and it was going to be amazing and to be honest I didn't actually expect that in discord I'd openly said that I think the best case scenario is we might get the character creator to mess around with and maybe test out if we are extremely lucky but even that's unlikely I said it's more likely going to be a bit more chilled I'm not really feeling like it's super hyped up and that they've got a lot of content coming our way but I didn't know for definite so I was keeping my hopes down now it maybe came across I was being a little bit negative but I just didn't want to hype something up because I knew from what Stephen was saying and stalking and, and which sounds creepy but for months and covering you can kind of tell when some of big's coming and I just didn't feel it for the December live stream at all but what I can say is I really did appreciate the live stream now it wasn't one I expected and I know the views seemed down on it this month and could have been busy time of year but I noticed a lot of the discord calls and other guilds and people's discords I mean normally they're quite booming and people dipped out pretty quick after like 20-30 minutes they kind of just fucked off because they were a bit disappointed but you've got to understand you you can't really just be like oh this one stream and that's going to dip your hopes down sum it up over 12 months and that's what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to give you all information show you there is a silver lining to this stream there is great information they've given us and honestly i still have massive hopes for ashes of creation in 2023 and i do believe we are going to still see that alpha 2 now there's people saying we're not going to see it till 2024 2025 you're living on a fucking different planet that is not going to happen just because you didn't tell us in december any info about Oh the latest Alpha 2 dates anything he's already said before till he knows 100% he ain't given the dates that guy could legit just drop in he could just drop it like 4, 6 week out they could just tell us boom it's coming we're ready but he doesn't want to put the pressure on his devs but I'll get more into that as the video goes on so to sway to the positive and kind of round it up and you know perk people up from that December live stream that some people are disappointed with I personally don't think it was too bad but it isn't what I expected so I understand the frustration but if you look at the January live stream we got the race reveal the first look at the VEC artwork and 3D models for the Kayla, Renke, Dinar and the Kua. Steven even leaked the Alpha 2 level cap will be 35. Now that was a decent live stream and it was a decent bit of information and I was more than happy with that and since then we headed into the February live stream which was about animal husbandry we got the Pyre reveal we didn't get any footage of the animal husbandry but we did get a good chunk of information information about traits, genes, raisin and a lot more shit was dropped on us. Info bombs left, right and centre. Now all this info I'm talking about you can check my other videos out because I really go in deep and dive into all the information but I can't do it in this video because there's just so much but I would definitely check them out and get speeded up on the latest information if you just come and ask your creation or you've kind of got a bit foggy on what's happened over the 12 months. Now we then jumped into the March live stream and that was just fucking out of the blue it was just none of these streams and the info we'd got even jan or feb was not expected we got the character creator in march it showed a first pass of the character creator which included the vec and the kla it showed things like the body the hair facial hair eyes scars tattoos and it was honestly when i seen it i was like fuck i was not expecting it i was blown away and thinking like pre-alpha 2 this is the quality we're getting and this is march and this is why everyone started being like oh damn we're coming close to alpha 2 these guys are getting ready so it definitely was a bit confusing for a lot of people as the months went on and we still don't have an alpha 2 day but you've got to remember like i said we ain't getting that alpha 2 day till things are perfect and all of his team intrepid and the devs are like yeah we're to go we're all capable we can all do this so just bear that in mind as we go through the rest of it then we jumped into april and we got an events update now some people didn't like this they weren't as happy but we got an update on the types of events will seem better what affects them like seasons relics completed raids and shit like that there was just a great amount of information and even though some folk didn't like this it was vital information like it was about showing us the progression of the game and you can't always have pvp combat massive drops even in december we can't always have these bombs dropped on us they've got to do it bit by bit and they've got to be ready to show us because you've seen from other youtubers you've seen from the bigger streamers if stuff's not 
not on par. They genuinely get shit on and it is not going to be good. So even though they're trying to be as open and as transparent with us as possible, they're still smart. It's still a business and they still need to keep people's eyes on this game and supporting it and not turn away a potential fan or player or even a streamer that's going to be covering this because if they do, it negatively impacts them. So that's why they are more cautious with the stuff to drop. And obviously they want to impress us. Steven wants to show their level of quality that he deems is fit for the game at this stage and he wants to really push the boundaries like no other games done and I can fully appreciate that. So we head into the May seasonal tech and we got a showcase of the weather changing throughout the seasons and how that will affect the landscapes, the flora, the creatures within the world and it was truly somewhat different. It was truly somewhat special and it, yeah a lot of people who love PvP maybe didn't like it as much but I'm a PvP -er, and I can tell you somewhat when I watch that and I was experiencing it and like kind of listening to the sounds I just thought wow this is going to be fucking amazing like being in with this type of atmosphere with this type of quality even from a pvp like the pve is vital all of the parts of this game are vital and this was just yet again another stream that was super fucking impressive and showed that they are progressing massively and moving forward with what they originally told us they were going to do and that just really motivates me to support them even more now if they have a stream that's not as hype doesn't bother me because I look back on this stuff and I think wow look at the shit they've already showed us so we need to give them a break on that when we don't get these mega drops because we can't always get them then obviously June basic weapon attacks we got the first big combat update of the year showing the basic attacks with the two-handed sword and the dual wield daggers now I like that and I know the rest of the discord no one really had too many bad things to say about that so it was definitely one that went down well and if there is anyone who had some bad things to say about it I don't know man maybe look your expectations because we're not going to get every bit of info it's just a little showcase but yeah yet again the blue is away with that one on me personally we went into the july desert biome landform tech and tulna reveal showing that it's gonna help speed things up the way they can use this tech and the way everything will work it just showed that in the short term some things switching to ue5 could have slowed it down but in the long term it was really gonna give us a big boost and then them saying about the landform tech and then after that we thought wow this is some good shit and they were like boom Tolnaravil out of nowhere nowhere no one like expected the Tolnaravil and do you know what the three separate versions of the Tolnar are on the spectrum the highest spectrum of each one it was fucking amazing to see the creation and what you could do with them and honestly even to this day now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be Tolnar like it just looks like one of them races that's got a lot of customization and it can really be personally tailored to you so yet again we had another fucking banger of a stream which was awesome after the July and you know how they explain the use of landform to build the world and structures within the world like the large statues in the desert and how it would speed things up and just make the better quality work a lot of people saying we're gonna get the alpha 2 and i was kind of thinking fucking hell this looks like we are going towards alpha 2 we, we, we're getting some impactful shit like they're really dropping bombs like left right and center and it's really good stuff to be seeing and really fucking fast progress from my perspective that i i believed but then i thought well it's just feeling like we're going to get a quiet stream this month. There was a lot of information out, but I just wasn't feeling it. Boom, August comes. New fucking map. The map is now two and a half times bigger. The map is now 1,200 kilometers squared. Ocean lakes being, what, 750 kilometers. Land being, like, 450 kilometers. It was ridiculous and quite impressive to see how the map had changed. That size change and what they did. Like, I have that shit as my background on my computer and just looking at it and the way it's changed in comparison to the other one. It's just an improvement. It's just better and I'm glad they did this I'm glad they took the extra time and this might have potentially slowed the progress of some folks at other development of the game but who gives a shit because it means not only does the game get a bigger map but it gets more quality content things that are going to work more efficiently the way the nodes work the interactions that just show your fucking size of the world for us to explore and bear in mind this is before dlcs this is the fucking base game it's going to be stupid regardless of what other people thought about it i loved it i was happy with it and i still am now and i think it's a brilliant thing they did we are dipping into the september ranger reveal yet again another fucking awesome stream showed both the longbow and the 
short bow showed three abilities the airstrike quick shot and snipe now the airstrike that had me i was like fuck how is this gonna work in pvp this looks really nice i'm really impressed by it after that we went into october and we got the gathering showcase that was yet again another brilliant showcase with great information and yeah it was just nice to see some in game and the quality november we got the cleric and day and night system even constellations and the daft fucking sandal in the sky some people didn't seem to like this and were like how's this gonna work this is a gimmick it's pointless but yeah i do like this and i don't think it's a gimmick i don't think it's pointless i don't think anything they've done in ashes or during this development is pointless now coming to december you can kind of understand having all of that that i summed up and bear in mind watch me other videos i really haven't properly summed them up because it would take forever they were so much hype so much content that it was lived up to it wasn't just like bullshit hype like this genuinely lived up to it. the streams were fucking amazing so coming to december people were like 2023 boom this is the year this is alpha 2 it's gonna drop on us we're gonna get this this and blah 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 now i'm glad i didn't think that but i can fully understand leading up to how people thought we're gonna be told about alpha 2 and then they were let down but i think this was a good way to round it up i also think a lot of this stuff obviously was pre-recorded clearly as it was said it probably was done this way so after being thrashed and smashing out this year working their ass off and i don't mean to be disrespectful sometimes you can see some of them with bags under their eyes they look fucking shattered they literally insinuate or sometimes you hear them or say things about clearly showing their work and their asses off and they're putting the hours in i think it's right that they deserve a break and that they give us some good i still think this was amazing and i really did enjoy it i don't think it's as good as it could have been but at the same time if this gives them the time to take a step back enjoy christmas don't put too much pressure on dates and other things and have to fuck around over all the hype on the social medias they can just take some mental health time to go you know spend time with the families enjoy christmas and then come back into 2023 and boom restart what they did in 2022 but on a bigger scale and i think that's what we're gonna see so do not let this december live stream if it has got you down make you think that some of these guys that are saying fucking end of next year or 2024 for the alpha 2 is gonna be a thing it really won't i still don't believe that and from everything i've seen i don't think this december live stream gives me enough proof or credibility that alpha 2 ain't coming next year or even early to mid next year i do still have faith in that and even if it doesn't bear in mind what we've went through over 2022 there career progression and if 2023 leads the same way and i think it's actually going to be 10 times better we're on to a fucking winner so yeah that's my opinion and apologies about not having a video out last week obviously i was dying off switching jobs moving back and forth getting used to the new job and obviously kids christmas um it's been super hectic and then i was gonna knock out a video this week and i thought fucking hell the live stream's only a couple of days i might as well just wait and cover that and you know see what we get because we really don't know what to expect but i do appreciate the support i've still got more subs and people are constantly watching my other videos and commenting and that's good to see that somehow the old videos are still getting views and people are coming to the channel from that and the discord and the community's growing so i really do appreciate the spot hopefully you enjoyed that video hopefully give you a little bit of motivation not to be depressed about the december stream and hopefully you kind of took the same stance as i did and if you didn't don't let it get you down trust me we're gonna go into 2023 and it's gonna be a fucking amazing year for ash's creation no doubt about it i'll get more videos on arc 2 up and and then you know get more information on that if you do want to join ashes creation community and talk about you know whatever's going on within and get the latest news feel free to hit the link in the description and as always drop a like and a comment on the video let me know what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i really appreciate you watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers